How bad did you want this one, Joseph? Really bad. I mean, <laughs> I wanted to win here since last year. You know, I felt like we had a car to win, and it just didn't happen. But this car has been a rocket all weekend. It, it was not easy. I mean, Ryan was very quick, and I knew Dixon was right behind him. So we were working for it the entire race. But these guys were the best. I mean, they gave me incredible pit stops. I think we nailed the strategy. Um, Tim was coaching me through the whole thing. So 
I kind of knew what I had to do, but it, it was a lot of work. I, I'm honest with you. Ryan was really pushing me. So, um, you know, just hats off to the whole Team Penske team. Um, I wish we could have the other guys up here with us, but, you know, it, it's good to get a win. It doesn't matter which car it is. As long as we get one, it's good for P Team Penske. You, you told me we've had the speed. We haven't had the race execution. Can you imagine a, a more well-executed race for you or the team than this? Yeah, I mean, I was pretty flawless. It, it, it was difficult. I mean, I was really struggling at the beginning to – you know, do what I needed to do and then gap Ryan um, correctly. But I'll tell you what, Team Chevy did a great job this weekend. They gave me the horsepower I needed, had great fuel economy. So really proud of those guys. Good reliability, everything you expect from a Team Chevy engine. So um, I think that made the difference at the end of the day. How much of your day was spent looking in the rearview mirror at that 28 car, trying to keep that gap exactly where it needed to be? Because you're right, Tim was on you a few times. you got to do a better job on fuel. I know. I was I was working my butt off, believe me. I was looking at him every lap. And then I, I started thinking, I'm, I'm looking at him too much. So then I started looking forward. I knew if he was getting too close, they'd let me know. So once I focused uh, forward, it, it was a lot better towards the end. Cindric said on the radio, we're back on track. Do you feel like this team is back in the championship hunt now, only 50 points out of the lead? Yeah, we're far. You know, it's it's far till we get to the, the end of the season. So for me, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think we need to focus on this one weekend at a time. That's what Roger told me. He said, look, take it one race at a time. we got a long way to go. I think we're going to be just fine. We focus on being fast and executing our race day. We'll be there at the end. Is there anything differently that you could have done? I was hoping to make it more interesting, uh, both for the fans here at Road America and on TV, but uh, I thought I had the pace for him early on, especially the first two stints. I could really close on him when I wanted to, just getting the fuel number. I thought it was going to be a really good race between us. But then um, the last two stints, when he put on those used reds and I put on the blacks, those Firestones, I mean, he was he was hooked up. And um, in the dirty air, I had a really hard time keeping behind him in the carousel and trying to get a run on him. So. I was pushing 110%, that's, that's for sure, and that's, that's just what we had. But the uh, 28 DHL team did a great job in pit lane today. And, um, you know, big thanks to Auto Nation also, Butterball. These guys have all uh, stood behind us, and, and we're doing really well right now in the points. So we just need to keep that consistency up. No doubt this team can challenge for a championship. We just need to keep the momentum rolling, and uh, that, that'll be most important. Yeah, it was uh, it was okay. You know, I think uh, a little disappointed just with where we started. You know, I think had we had a better run in qualifying, you know, the car definitely had the speed. The PNC Bank car's been uh, fairly quick all weekend, and that race uh, condition, our black stint was just phenomenal. We were able to close the gap, jump all those guys uh, in that pit sequence. But um, you know, you always kind of just wish if we'd started maybe up in the first sort of four positions, I think we would have had a real good shot of winning this race today. But uh, you know, congratulations to uh, you know Joseph, drove a hell of a job there, and uh, so did Ryan. So it was fun to uh, fun to make another podium. What a strange problem. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. We I don't know. It's just they replaced the exhaust and just blew straight back out. So it's obviously something something going on in there that's uh, uh, gone wrong. Um, yeah, feel bad for all the guys. Just just one of those things. You know, you get that every now and then at some point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not good, but uh, we'll move on to the next one. A lot of talk about how rough this racetrack has been this weekend, going over curbs and qualifying. Could that have maybe had something to do with it? It's so hard to tell. I mean, you know, it, it's. I don't think it's an exhaust problem. It's something uh, within the engine. Who knows? Like uh, they have, they're going to look deeply into it, obviously, when something like that happens. But yeah, I couldn't even comment on what it may be. But uh, yeah. Just need to keep moving forward, think, think about Iowa and uh, try to have a good car there and get back in the points. 